Hi guys, this is Gigi and I'm doing something a little different today. I'm doing a book haul. Um, I hope it doesn't get too noisy. I'm sitting out on my deck and I think I hear an airplane going overhead. So hopefully you can still hear me. Anyway, I'm an avid reader um, and I recently went to a shopping center that was near my Goodwill store and I like to shop there for books because their hardbacks are only $1.99 and their paperbacks are 99 cents. So I decided to run in while I was in the area and this is the first book that I got. This is uh, Skeletons at the Feast. It's a novel by Chris Bohollen. And I believe this is a fairly recent, I haven't looked it up online, but I think it's a fairly recent book of his. Normally it um, sells for $25. So I was very happy with that. It's in excellent condition. I mean, it doesn't look like anyone has ever even read it. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is a Nora Roberts. I sometimes read her. They're a quick kind of, um, I don't want to say brainless. That doesn't sound very nice, but you just don't need to concentrate a whole lot on these books. You know what I mean? They're just a quick kind of fun read. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, one of my favorites uh, that I haven't read in a long time, and uh, that is Sophie Kinsella. This is Mini Shopaholic. So I haven't read this one yet. I'm kind of looking forward. Hers are kind of fun, uh, Brit chick, British chick uh, type of novels, and um, <laughs> she usually kind of cracks me up. So that'll be a fun read for me. Now, I was really happy to find this next book because this is an author that I just recently found. Uh, her name is Jacqueline Winspear, and she does the Maisie Dobbs novels. And if you haven't checked into the Maisie Dobbs novels, they are very good. They uh, are set in uh, around the time of the First World War and just after, and it is a lady, um, a kind of private in investigator in London. So that was something that was not done around that time very much. Uh, ladies didn't work too much and do things like that. So. She's very innovative and just, oh, I really like her novels. I would recommend if you do, read her novels. Uh, they're very readable, very easy. They read quickly, and I'm a slow reader. And they're very interesting which, with lots of historical, um, accurate facts. But if you do read her, I do suggest that you read her first one. And I'm sorry, I should have looked to see what the name of that one is. But if you do, be sure and read the first one uh, in her series. I'm actually on the second one, uh, but I don't think after that you have to read them in order. Oh, this is, this is, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, Philippa Gregory is also Victoria Holt, the author, and Victoria Holt was an author that I read way many years ago in high school that I liked a lot, so I just grabbed this one just kind of for the heck of it to see if I would like it. I don't know if I will or not, but for $2, you know, you can't really go wrong. And then I got a Maeve Bianchi, Heart and Soul. I've read several of her books, and most of them I like. There's been one or two that were a little slow, but most of her books I really like. So, And by the way, if any of you have read these books and that I'm showing you today and want to leave me a comment about whether how good they were or how bad they were or anything, oh, I would definitely welcome that. Uh, the next one is by Anita Shreve. She's an author I have read before as well. Some of hers I've liked more than others. This one is called All He Ever Wanted. Let's see. And then this one, um, I'm not entirely sure why I picked this up. It's by Dan Walsh. It's called The Unfinished Gift. It just looked interesting. Um, set in Christmas time of 1943, an engaging story of a family in need of forgiveness. Anyway, it just sounds like, yeah, I think it sounded like kind of a Christmassy type book, and I like to read those type of books uh, as we get closer to the holidays. And then the last book that I got that day, they actually considered this a paperback, even though it's very big. Um, this is um, The Land and Literature of England. <laughs> it looks like a, um, maybe a college book. Um, but I am, uh, what's known as an Anglophile, I am very enamored of most everything British and English. I drive an English car, we go to England, uh, usually London every other year. I just, um, I, don't, I love English history and English literature and I don't know what it is about, about that country but I'm just very enamored of it. Anyway, when I saw this for 99 cents I thought, oh cool, I, and, and it is, it's like a textbook, but that's okay. I'll still enjoy it. 
anyway those are my hauls that I got uh, just uh, day before yesterday when I did some other shopping I'll probably go ahead and put up another couple shopping videos because I kind of went crazy <laughs> I hadn't been shopping for a little while and um, was kind of going through withdrawal if you know what I mean <laughs> anyway not sure which one of these books I'm working right now on a Maisie Dobbs novel so I'm about halfway through that so I don't know I may take a break from her um, and I don't know I'm kind of leaning towards this one if you've ever read the any Sophie Kinsella she's she, she's so much fun and uh, I really enjoy her books anyway Thank you for looking. Uh, if you're a reader, let me know what you like to read. I always like um, lots of other ideas. If you've read any of these books, let me know how you like them or not like them. And uh, thank you very much to my subscribers. A big hi and thank you for subscribing. And um, today is Saturday, so everybody have a great weekend. Bye-bye now.